Hello, it's early Saturday morning on the 20th of September. I've been working in Westminster this week and I'm just about to leave London and head up north to Manchester, which is where this year's Labour conference is being held. It's been quite a busy, busy few months for the Labour Party. Uh, not everything's gone according to plan and I think this conference is a real test for the party to be able to show that we still have the ideas and the policies that are necessary to um, help the average Britain and really make sure that the challenges that we're facing at the moment, in terms of the economic uh, problems that the country's facing, in terms of fuel poverty and making people pay their bills are still things that the Labour Party can help with. Hello, I'm right in Manchester now. I'm outside the GMEX, which is where the Labour Party conference is taking place. It's glorious sunny weather in Manchester today and there's already a really positive mood about the conference. And so it's really about the party pulling together now. And we've heard that through the speeches that we've had on the platform so far, but also with some of the Labour MPs that I've been speaking to, there's a real sense of necessity to pull together and actually really make a case to why people should still be voting Labour. Just coming out of the Bridgewater Hall where I've been on the Daily Politics show with Charles Clark and John Prescott. Fantastic discussion about the future of the party. In my mind it's really clear we must be focused on policy and not discussion about the leadership. People in South West Devon aren't staying awake at night worrying about the Labour leadership. They're worrying about their energy bills and their water bills and that's what we really must make sure that the Labour Party is talking about. Put a bit of heart back into the party. You don't want to hear any more moans. Get out and fight. If you don't fight, you don't win. And if we don't move and we'll fight, people will think we've given up. And we have not. Have we given up? No! Are we going to win? Yes! Yeah, they are, it's already in the back. <laughs> I'm Margaret Curran and I am Labour MSP for Glasgow Bailison and I was also the Labour candidate in the Glasgow by-election and I am just off the politics show where we were talking about what Labour needs to do to win again and to recover from some of the challenges we face. We need to talk about the things that matter to people, the services, schools, we need to create change and listen to what people are telling us. Big economic challenges, Labour's the best party to do that, a great place for debate here at conference and all the best to the people people of Devon from the east end of Glasgow. Coming to the end of day two at Labour Party conference today, today's been a really good day for speaking to fellow uh, members from the South West. Just about to go to the South West reception, which is where uh, Labour Party people from across the South West region will be getting together. Um, early on today, I spoke to some of the PPCs, the fellow candidates like myself who are running for office for the first time, how to share best practice, how to campaign together, how to really put pressure on the Tories that we have locally excellent day. Um, the atmosphere is still really bouncy and the conference is beginning to fill up. Inside the South West reception now is an excellent turnout from the South West. Some people in the party think there's no Labour presence in the South West and yet we have a great number of Labour MPs, a fantastic number of PPCs fighting and a lot of local councillors. The, the South West is fighting strong and fighting for Labour. The Conservative Party walked away from the difficult decision to nationalise it. When it came to stopping share speculation they walked away from that as well. And I think you can have good PR, you can have good salesmanship, you can have good uh, slogans, but at the end of the day, when the choice is posed, we will be able to show it's a Labour government that stands by the people of the country and a Conservative party that would fail them. And that's what we've got to do over these next few months. Um, Monday and Tuesday are the busiest days of conference as we gear up the leader's speech which is tomorrow. Looks like being a quite a buoyant atmosphere still. People are increasingly surprised at just how unified the party is. I think in times of economic crisis as we're having at the moment, there's no need to change our league at the moment. We need to have the, uh, the strength to stick with the person we've got. And who else would we want in charge of the economy at the moment? Someone has given 10 years of unprecedented growth and stability or David Cameron. And look here, at Labour Party conference on the YouTube stand. And look who we have staying on here. Two party members. It's Betty. These film clips were done a couple of days ago, just by taking my camera and filming local party members. That's how easy YouTube campaigning is, and that's why we're using it in this campaign, to make sure we're getting our messages across to the people of South West Devon. Betty from South West Devon. <laughs> David Miliband, the Foreign Secretary. It's great meeting loads of Labour MPs at Labour Party conference, but sometimes you meet a Tory MP, which is also nice. <laughs>
Uh, you know, he's the DEFRA minister, and I've told him all about Plymouth, uh, particularly the way in which the Tories are behaving towards uh, the carbon footprint of Plymouth. Here we have an opportunity to um, bring in some wind turbines into schools, um, and the Tories are trying to stop it. Um, I've explained that to uh, Hilary Benn, and uh, he was most surprised to hear about it. He's asked me to supply him with some more information, so I'm going to do that. Um, it's funny, the Tories nationally are saying how green they are. When you actually look at what they deliver on the ground, it's the same old blue, I'm afraid, and it's made me very, very blue. Labour conference is now coming to an end. Uh, early on today I uh, sat and watched uh, Gordon Brown's conference speech. Incredible finishing speech from the leader. Not Flash, just Gordon. Really re uh, reiterating the messages as to why we should be going out and fighting for Labour. Why we should be going out and fighting for the core values we believe in. Really important. Gave clear blue water between ourselves and the Conservatives. Really talking about whether we're supporting homeowners or hedge funds. And in my mind the choice is simple here. So go out there and ask Gary Streeter next time you see him if he's in the constituency and ask him are you supporting the homeowners as to banning short trading supporting northern rock going with mergers that stabilize our economy or are you going with the hedge funds which many of his colleagues sit on the boards of who are investing in and making a um, profit out of the misery of many of our fellow citizens it's been a fantastic conference from Manchester who has really given me the passion and the fight to go back to the Southwest Dev and retake the fights to the Tories and keep watching the website keep watching the YouTube channel for more clips like this so you can see what we're getting up to in South West Devon, really holding the Tories to account. Thanks very much.